impacto sa ating mga car SP, especially sa mga millennial at Gen Z. Mayroon po kaming pasilip sa magaganap na Philippine Blockchain Week for 2022. Panoorin po natin ito. Kung ikaw ay millennial o Gen Z, panigurado, narinig mo na ang mga terminong blockchain, NFTs, at cryptocurrency. Blockchain we know is the next digital opportunity. And that's why we have to we have to take advantage of this on what is happening. Malawak ang pwedeng paggamitan ng blockchain. Imagine that we're able to use all of these blockchains na pwede na gamitin sa government, later mga birth certificate, mga numbers, anything that has to do with data, anything that has to do with transactions can now be on the blockchain. Pero sa kabila ng kahusayan at kaginhawaang taglay ng teknolohiyang ito, marami pa rin ang duda sa kakayahan nito. Tinatawag natin Web3 yung blockchain, it means it's decentralized. Wala po nagmimiari noon kung di lahat ng mga tao na, na involved doon, uh, kumbaga yung economy uh, is, uh, is democratized, it is uh, free for all. So it is what they call the most secure. Kaya naman sa pangunguna ni Dito CME Chief Operating Officer Donald Lim, magbubukas sa Pilipinas ang kauna-unahang Philippine Blockchain Week 2022. So it is the first Philippine Blockchain Week. So what we're having is that we're flying in the experts in blockchain around the world. No, and they will be teaching. Siempre karamihan ng mga crowd natin would be yung mga CEOs, mga managers ng mga kompanya. So ite train natin sila. We have all the capacity to become the blockchain capital of the world. Yung mga experts natin sa programming, sa digital, kailangan maturuan lang sila paano gumamit ng blockchain at kaya natin magdominate ng mundo. Ayon sa datos, ang Pilipinas din ang nangunguna sa listahan ng may pinakamalaking bilang ng downloads ng digital crypto wallets. Ang bilang na ito ay nagpapahayag na hinug na tayo sa usapin ng digital financial management. Aanihin na lang at ang paglulunsad ng Blockchain Week sa Pilipinas ang unang hakbang dito. Nandun yung mga NFT toy collection, may mga esports na mangyayari doon, may mga, de, mga, mga demo, meron din doon ituturo ano yung Blockchain 101. Isa sa mga conveners sa makasaysayang pagdiriwang ito ay ang Anotoys Collectiverse. So basically, when I started the Anotoys Collectibles, it's really solving the pain points of every collector and fans na trying to collect um, real pieces. We are in a mission to bring in fans, celebrities, and brands going to Web 3.0 and also to the metaverse. Pangunahing layunin ng Anotoys Collectiverse ay punan ang gap sa pagitan ng physical at digital sa pamamagitan ng mga digital collectibles tulad ng NFTs. Your NFT is basically a non-fungible token. So what it really means is that it's an asset that we can identify in the blockchain that is unique. The first time in human history, now we can identify an asset digitally. Through that, it becomes a key. It becomes a key to the metaverse. Pero hindi tulad ng tradisyonal na transaksyon, mas ligtas ito sa fraud o anumang uri ng mga panluloko dahil mas nakapokus ito sa users. If this technology would really um, be applied properly, it will lessen the red tapes, more transparency, and data would not be corrupted as well. Kung magiging matagumpay ang Blockchain Week 2022, mailalagay nito ang Pilipinas sa sentro ng technological evolution na pakikinabangan ng maraming Pilipino. Ang blockchain is going to be yung, yung the digital technology of the future. It will really spur jobs and create new opportunities for Filipinos. We would like to invite you to participate in Philippine Blockchain Week happening on November 28 and December 4. So this would be a gathering of like-minded people, futurists, enthusiasts, especially in blockchain space.